It is April 2024 now, and it is time to get your Mother's Day theme designs added to your shop. In this video, we're gonna take a look at some niche ideas as well as some resources to help you create those designs. All right, let's start by taking a quick look at our timing to make sure that we have good timing here with when we're publishing these mom-themed designs. This is the past five-year search volume trending on Google Trends for the term mom gift. So it's not specific to one product, but just gifts for mom. And if we look back at the last five years, there are two peaks each year. One, as you can imagine, is in the fourth quarter. And the most recent one here was in 2023. We had a peak in the time frame of December 17th to the 23rd. So of course, in the US, that is corresponding to Christmas time. But if we look back, there is a slightly smaller spike after Christmas every year, or actually before Christmas every year. And that is the Mother's Day time frame. And last year, the top of the peak was May 7th to the 13th. The year before that, May 1st to the 7th. So it very varies just slightly depending on the actual date of Mother's Day. But what we really want to look at is when does it start to increase? And last year, it really started picking up around April 16th. Right now is the perfect time to be working on these designs because the date I'm recording this is March 30th. I'll be posting this on April 1st. And so getting those designs published right before that April 10th to April 15th time frame is the perfect time to take advantage of that little bit of a listing bump that Etsy gives to new listings in search results. You don't get very long. Of course, any mom theme designs, again, have potential to sell a lot later in the fourth quarter for the holidays. So you have the potential of getting a couple of good spikes during the year. And of course, mom themed designs for any, you know, sub niche or any cross niche can sell at any time during the year. It's just the big opportunities are Mother's Day and around Christmas. All right, now the first type of design that I wanna talk about is a mom-themed repeatable design. Lately, I've really been liking the repeatable designs because I can create several new design listings quickly without having to do lots and lots of research in between the designs that I'm creating. So the first one we're gonna talk about is one that I have mentioned recently, and that is Dog Mom or Cat Mom. Specifically, Dog Mom, I think, has a great range of opportunities here because of dog breeds. So we're taking a look at E-Rank here. I don't talk about E-Rank a lot, but I thought why not use it in at least a couple of videos because it is a great tool for especially new Etsy print-on-demand sellers because they have a free version. It does limit you to the number of times per day you can run keyword analysis, and it limits some of the things you can see. I currently have the basic account, which is $6 a month, so it's pretty reasonable, and I think it's a great way to get started doing some research. Now, there are lots of Etsy research tools out there at this point. I still personally use Sales Samurai. I also occasionally use Everbee. Everbee is another good choice that has a good Chrome extension. Sales Samurai has a Chrome extension that I really like. So there are a lot of options. They all have pluses and minuses. E-Rank is more of a pure keyword research tool, which focuses on trending volume, as well as giving you average click-through rates. And you can also see the search trends on Google and on Amazon. But this video is not about the keyword research tools. So I just wanted to point out why we're using E-Rank in this video versus another one. I'm gonna start this search by looking at Golden Retriever Mom, because my idea here is to create designs that I can easily create multiple just by changing the dog breed. So my first try here with Golden Retriever is an example of one that I think probably has a little bit more competition because Golden Retriever is very popular dog breed. The average searches right now, they're not estimating as very high, only 111 per month, but they are actually estimating higher click-through rate. That's pretty good looking to me. And then the Etsy competition, 16,000 right now. So it's not great, but it's also not terrible. And then it also provides me with some analysis on related keywords down here. Things like Golden Retriever sweatshirt actually has lower competition and slightly higher search volume. And Golden Retriever Mug is another one with 5,000-ish competition and a little higher search volume still, as well as Golden Retriever Shirt, which also actually has better looking stats than Golden Retriever Mom. So I'm going to keep these keyword phrases in mind when I'm considering the products and my tags that I'm going to use on my listings, as well as words potentially for the title. Now, when it comes to creating the design, you have a couple of options for how you can do it. I personally have been using Kittle more and more to create my designs, even though I've been a Photoshop user for a long time because I find it super easy. And I also really like their newest version of their AI image creation tool because originally the first version that came out was very hit and miss for me. 
I would put in prompts and it would generate, you know, stuff that you definitely couldn't use. But with the most recent version, I've been getting really good results from it, especially on things like dogs or the mascot style sort of retro images. But I created this one of a golden retriever just by putting in a very basic prompt. And it's a, a very usable image that came out of it. I mean, look how nice and colorful and detailed it is. And I've got my first design here. So we'll come back to this in just a second because I want to show you the rest of my process here. But let's just talk about a more traditional sort of source for graphics like Creative Fabrica. So all I did here was run a search for Golden Retriever Mom on Creative Fabrica, which is still, I think, a great value for the price for what you get. So in this search for Golden Retriever Mom, what I want to do is look on the left menu here and select the checkbox for print on demand because I want to make sure I'm only seeing search results that have the proper licensing to use for print on demand. So even for these simple ones, you know, you can save yourself some time potentially. Now, I don't personally like to use ones like this that we're looking at in the middle here where it is completely finished, like Golden Retriever Mom with the dog. I don't like to take ones like that and just throw it on a shirt and sell it because it's probably going to be the same thing that a lot of other people have done. So rather than search for Golden Retriever Mom, what I would personally do to create my design, I would just search for Golden Retriever and find a really nice Golden Retriever graphic to use in my design. You can absolutely use resources like Creative Fabrica and Dog Breeds. There's a ton of graphics out there for them that you can use, but I would just encourage you to not use the ones that are completely finished and pre-made so that you can create something that actually is different than the competition. Now, where I would go from here is I would run a few more of these searches and change the breed of the dog and try and identify my top priorities. Now, you could simply just start going through all of the different dog breeds that you can think of, or you could also be a little bit more strategic about this. And if we come back to uh, Google, let's just run a different type of search here. So I just ran a search for most popular dog breeds in the US. Now for me, the US is my primary selling market and I'm focusing on the date of Mother's Day in the US. So that's why I included US in the search. Here's a current article from January of 2024 on Forbes. You could look across multiple websites for this type of a thing, but this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for what are the most popular breeds of dogs? So French Bulldog, Labrador Retriever, Golden Retriever, German Shepherd Poodle. You can see the rest of the list here. So I'm gonna use this information to sort of guide my research and see are any of these, you know, do any of these have better search volume or lower competition? Now, interestingly, even though that is currently the number one most popular dog breed in the United States, I'm getting no results here or unknown on E-Rank. And that is likely because the search volume is too low for it to tell. However, if we scroll down and look at the related uh, terms here, French Bulldog shirt has about 200 searches per month and about 11,000 competition. French Bulldog Gifts has about the same but higher competition. So this one, I don't know, may not be the best choice to go with based on what we're seeing here and about 18,000 competition for French Bulldog Mom. So this one may not be the best choice. Now, one other thing I should point out is keep in mind, if there are like nicknames for dog breeds, you have to keep that in mind as well for search terms. So for example, French Bulldogs are often called Frenchies, and that is something to keep in mind. You might need to check out the search term or even put the word Frenchie in your design as well as French Bulldog. So I'm going to click on this artboard on the name again to get it highlighted. And then I'm going to right click on it and I am going to click on copy and then click off of it anywhere in the open space here and click on paste. And that is going to duplicate this artboard for me. Now I can go ahead and reuse this whole finished design. I had grouped all of these design elements, so I need to ungroup them here in my newly created one. So I'm gonna ungroup everything here and I'm gonna remove the golden retriever and we're gonna call this one French Bulldog. Now I'm gonna put in a prompt into Kittle AI here for a French Bulldog. And the image style that I had selected for the first one was this one that actually is already a dog, the watercolor option. All right, now we'll let the AI image generator go with that prompt and see what we get. Okay, and this was the image that it came out with. Now, as you can see, the style here is quite a bit different than the Golden Retriever that I have. So we've got a couple of choices here. I could try to run this again and see if I can get something closer to this or because it's a different dog breed, I actually don't know that I care so much that it that it looks different. Personally, this is actually still quite a nice graphic to use for a print on demand design. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna roll with it because I'm happy with the quality. So I just need to remove the background on this. I might need to also crop this to get rid of the, the color scales that are on the side, but let's just try removing the background first. 
So I'm gonna click on the AI background remover tool over here on the right. There we go. Oh, and perfect. It did get rid of those color scales and there we go. So this doesn't look to me like it's gonna need the AI image upscaler. To me, I don't think it's too fuzzy or blurry. So I'm good with leaving that one as is. And now I just need to change my text and I'm gonna use Frenchie mom for this one actually. So I'm gonna scale this. I'm happy with that one. I am ready to move on to another dog breed. So you see just how quick that was. Another thing you can definitely do is create variations. And this is another reason why I love having multiple artboards in Kittle. You can do this with layers in Photoshop or creating separate pages in Canva. But another thing I really like to do is go ahead and create the same design, but just change the actual graphic to give customers another option. So let me add that as another copy. We'll get rid of the graphic and I'm just gonna put another prompt in here. And let's do it with the t-shirt graphic style this time and see what it comes up with. I'm gonna leave the prompt the same, but just change the style. All right, so there's our generated graphic, another high quality graphic. Like, look at the detail in this. this. This looks great. There's nothing inaccurate or wrong about this image. I think it looks perfect. Let's go ahead and remove the background. All right, now I'm gonna go with a different font for this one. I like this font, but I don't like how wide it is. So I, rather than changing it, I think I want, I might wanna just put it on a curve here so that I can make it a little bigger. There we go. And now I could of course change the colors of the font here as well, but I just, I'm really happy with how this looks even without any additional graphic elements in there. Another way that you can sort of streamline the process on Kittle of creating different variations. I'd probably do the exact same thing for the golden retriever one and any other dog breeds I wanna create. So essentially that's it. I would just keep going down the list of popular dog breeds and checking to see what the search volume looks like to see if it's worth it. Of course, if you wanna complete a nice set of these, you don't necessarily have to rely on the search volume data. You can just create a bunch of them and then see which ones sell the best. All right, now we're gonna use E-Rank to find one other idea for Mother's Day this year, another sort of sub-niche or cross-niche opportunity. And for this one, I'm going back to the, the basics of keyword research here. I'm just putting in mom shirt and we're gonna see the keyword ideas down below. We're gonna look for higher volume and lower competition. So naturally, mom shirt is not a phrase that you want to rely on to place in search results because yes, you have 10,000 monthly searches and that's gonna spike around Mother's Day, but you've got 1.5 million in competition. So <laughs> you're not gonna rank on page one of that search without using some other keywords to get yourself onto page one. So if we look at the rest of the data here, on the first page of results, I already see potential for one direction I could go. Volleyball mom shirt is one of the options down here. And you can see average monthly search volume is really high, over 900 monthly searches. You've got a high click-through rate and you've got 15,000 competition. Now, 15,000 is not, you know, insignificant competition, but I'd be comfortable creating a few volleyball mom themed designs and seeing if I could, you know, crack my way into this niche. So let's go to page two here and see what else we've got. We've still got lots of high competition, high saturation niches here. We've got autism mom. That's one with a little bit lower competition. On page three, we've got homeschool mom, senior mom, t-ball mom. That one actually is very low competition. I'm guessing t-ball probably means t-ball, like for uh, for very young kids. They put the ball up on a tee. I'm guessing that's what that means. So there's low competition for a few of these. And we're still in the range of very reasonable monthly search volume here. Now, if we keep going here, now we're getting down in search volume to around 200 a month. But again, here's some low competition ones here. Mom Disney, I would stay away from that one for sure. This is one of those things that trademark, copyright, don't wanna touch it. I'm not gonna touch anything related to Disney. Pipple Mom, hey, there is another dog mom themed t-shirt. So that just validated that there is one at least worth doing here. Goat Mom is another one with 129 monthly searches and little, very little competition. I've already found four or five different ideas here that have reasonable search volume and relatively low competition. So hopefully that gave you a couple of ideas or starting points for ideas at sort of niching down, going further into the niche for just, you know, mom t-shirts and things like that. So that'll do it for this video. I hope it was helpful for you. Let me know down in the comments if it was or if you have any questions about this process and how I go about creating multiple repeatable designs while still doing sort of the typical research that I would normally do. Don't forget to subscribe to the POD Insights channel. Thank you to all subscribers. I really do appreciate the support. Thanks everybody. See you next time.